hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is peace i'm a nurse by profession so today i am going to be talking about ttc trying to conceive i'm going to be giving some health tips on how i got my baby girl yeah so today make sure you sit tight watch to the end of this video and i am going to be showcasing those things i took and all i did to what get pregnant for my baby to stay because there are a lot of women that are really going through a lot trying to conceive and to have to no avail so i pray these tips will work for you one of my some of my fans on my youtube channel and those in my health is wealth page are actually requesting for this uh, video so i just wanted to briefly give you guys tips on what i took and one thing you have to know is age. Age is something that actually affects women. Yes, there are, the fact that Mr. Mrs. A is 45 and above 30 and still having children, above 45, still having children, doesn't mean that Mrs. B used to be the same. So guys, so a lot of things happened when I was trying to conceive and I went through a lot of a lot of challenges and I had a lot of things I I took and tests I went for and to confirm if I was actually okay and if my husband is okay. But before I thought I proceed to those things, I want to make this correction, I want to make this note. A lot of women are going through a lot in their marriages. Yes. Yeah. Mm. To those mother-in-laws whom their family they are so fruitful filled with children in their womb please those your daughters-in-laws they are not beasts they are human beings like you i know you, you started giving birth at early age you give but your children are still giving birth yes remember you're not god you're not of the same gene you're not from the same family with them you don't know how god created them you don't know what processes they're supposed to go through before they have their own children so please mother-in-laws try to cooperate try to encourage your daughter-in-laws it's not easy i personally i was emotionally i was i was traumatized it's not even up to two years of marriage i was on fire i was on it's not like mine is that I was getting pregnant. It's not like I wasn't getting pregnant. No, I was getting pregnant, because, but I was losing my babies. So I was so scared. I was so worried. I was so depressed and scared. I had to visit some clinics, like Bridge Clinic in in Ikecha. I went to I went to Bridge Clinic and they checked my body. They tested us and. They told us that is a natural occurrence happening. I was like, wow, are you guys serious? Does someone who just stay and just have this carriage without no no reason? They said it's better the baby goes than me having the baby and at the same time the baby is not normal. So we went back home and I went for a hormonal profile test, which is one of the things I'm gonna be talking about. And after they did the hormonal profile test, they realized that during my cost of pregnancy, taking in and going out, those milk that was forming during the pregnancies were still there. And as it didn't clear up, it was actually causing a problem for me. They found that my prolactin was a little bit high. Even the doctor said it wasn't a problem, but then to a doctor, I explained to the doctor and he said, okay, let us get the prolactin. Even if it's not that high, 10 to 15. So the doctor placed me on prolactin and I took that and was watching also. So I don't know about your case. If your case is the case of your habit hormonal profile, your hormones are not balanced, there will be a challenge for you conceiving because the things that makes up this pregnancy is hormone, more especially the progesterone is responsible for keeping your pregnancy so if the progesterone is low and your prolactin is high there will be chances that if you take in it's not going to say it will not even implant you feel everything like we still have hope there is hope yeah there is hope, hope, hope if i can have my own baby today so you can also have yours yes 
Aries home. So first of all, number one thing you will do, check for your hormonal profile. And as you're going for a hormonal profile, you also go with your husband for semen analysis. You know, sometimes men always think it is just a woman. Please, I want you guys to take notes. Be corrected. Take this correction, men. It is not always the woman who is what having problem. So men has low sperm count. Why sperm count? So men has a low quality sperm. They have enough sperm count, but the quality is poor. When your, the quality of your semen is poor, the, the, the active ones, the ones that are active are not much. They're the ones that are active number of, in high number. This happens that when you fertilize an egg, processes does not complete. And when it doesn't complete due to the low, low quality of the sperm, it will result to what? Miscarriage. And you, as a woman, you see it as period. No. Let me tell you. There's an egg that was unable to implant. That's pregnancy. You lost a pregnancy. A lot of women lose pregnancy. They lose, they, they have miscarriages, but they don't know. Yeah, miscarriage. When you miscarry the child, you want to propose out there. Please, whenever this challenge is up, do not leave it only for your, for your wife. Do not leave her only for treatment. She should go for treatment. No, you have to accompany her. You have to be with her because you don't know what they go through. When they go through all this alone, it really causes depression, which I know you wouldn't want to see your, your wife in a mental hospital. Do you know that depression is... Another thing I took, another supplement that I took while I was trying to conceive is odd omega-3 fatty acid wow omega-3 fatty acid is very very essential it's very good for the two couples for the couples is essential and good for the spouse for each of the spouse it is good for men it helps their sperm it is good for the woman it helps their reproductive organs it helps number three what i took you will not believe it. Selgivity. Wow. A lot of people have been, I think a lot of people are taking selgivity, but they don't actually know what selgivity does. This selgivity works wonders. It doesn't only balance your own. It helps the reproductive system. And I pray you get from a good company, from a good pharmacy. This selgivity, I take it one in the morning, one in the night. It helped me a lot, a whole lot. The number four thing that I was taking, I folic acid. Yes, folic acid. Folic acid helps also the reproductive organs, help the, the reproductive organs of the productive organs of the female. It helps you so much that it does a lot of works for you. It's good for you to be taking this folic acid daily. And sorry for the selgivity before I conclude for the folic acid. Selgivity does a lot of things. It helps the brain. Helps you look younger. It, re it helps in balancing your hormones. It helps the reproductive organs, both in male and female. Yes, it does help the both male and female reproductive organs. So I would want you to take those pills. I took them for one month. Then... The miracle happened. The last and not the least of what I did was what I went for what we call HSG. This HSG is a test normally for a woman. They do this test to know the potency of your what your fallopian tubes, because it's through the fallopian tube once this, the man releases a sperm in the vagina, it travels inside from the service it enters travels from the vagina enters the service then split first to go and fertilize this one will be going to have two it's like a branch like this this is how the 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 fallopian tube it has here and here because you have egg in the right and in the left you have the right and left um ovaries so they travel to go look for the what the release eggs that's what they do so now when they travel if there are blockages there, they cannot go and meet the egg. So what you, what happens? They stuck there, and next thing they flow, they die, and they go out. You see, that's what happens. So why do I advise you to go for HSGs? Because this HSG is what we do to what make the to make the the fallopian tube to be patent 
for what? Free flow of movement for the sperm to go in and move and for the egg to roll and go to the what? The uterus and do what? For implantation. So when you do this, it cre it cleans. It, I think it's more of those die, not only going to, to check the body. I think it cleans your fallopian tube. If I everything, it cleans it up. Because immediately after I did that HSG, I did what? The next month, while taking my nails, I took him. Yes. Last but I think that's the last. The very last. I took Clomid. Yes. After I've taken these things for one month, then I did my HHG, few days to my menses, menstrual period. And after that, on the third day, I started my Clomid. And as I started my Clomid, I finished. I took it for five days and I finished. After I finished taking that Clomid, I started ovulating. The ovulation was so strong. Then I traveled. I went to see my husband because I was not around. I went to meet him. And after I met, I was shocked. I got pregnant and I had my baby girl. Yes, it's true. Yes, it is true. So these are the things I took that made me have my baby. So if you have faith, it's not just about the medicine. It's not just about these things I'm telling you. It's about your faith. It's about you and your spouse being in peace. Because one thing I know is that babies do not like a troublesome environment. If they realize that staying inside this room, my mom is always angry, quarreling with my dad, they will go off. Baby likes, babies like where there is peace. Children of these days, oh my God, they are so selective. They select parents, you see. If you and your husband is having a problem, you're not talking to each other, but you have sex, Nigeria, you will not conceive it. No baby there. No way. You better be in peace, in love. Fine. See, if your husband is tired of seeing you, just travel. Travel, go somewhere, stay two months, three months, come back, he will miss you. Yeah, and by that time, you have arranged yourself, taking all this thing. And you knock, you go in tap. Cool. You never open. Open it. <laughs> it will not open. No, oh, in Jesus' name, Amen. And the baby will stay. So that's it. So make sure you do take these things I've recommended for you. And I promise you, you'll come back to say thank you because this thing really helped me a lot. It really helped me a lot. And lastly, before I close this chapter, if they said it's a progesterone that is low, make sure you take. There are drugs for progesterone. There are progesterone drugs you have to take. So, but take it according to prescription because most of these hormonal therapies, they have side effects. Yes, they really do have side effects. On my next video, I'm going to be talking about that also. So take these things and make sure you take care of yourself. During this period, relax. There are people that are pregnancy, when they are pregnant, they do not need stress, which some men do not understand. Please, men, hear me now. There are, in fact, if a mama and Kechi goes to market, jumps, boss, enter more jump keke, jump taxi, go sell for market any money, carry this and carry that, and her pregnancy sister. It does not mean your own wife won't be like that. Though. All women are not the same. Though. Like me, I was on bed rest on the time I realized I was pregnant until the day I gave birth. Why? I love my life. I love my child. I want to save my baby. Hmm. If going to your mother's place will save your child, please go to your mother's house. Go and be with your mother. Let them tell you. If you don't have a mother, go to a sister. If you don't have a sister, look for a friend. Look for someone that will take good care of you. Or hire someone that will be doing shows in the house for you. For the sake of what happened, because only you will have that joy. Only you will have the praise when you give back to that child. The praises will come to you. So, my dear fellow women, make sure you like, subscribe. Please subscribe. A lot of people are watching my videos, but they are not subscribing. I have almost how many thousand viewers, but Walang subscription, Walang subscribe. Back it. I'm speaking Filipino Tagana for you. <laughs> what I'm saying is that a lot of people are watching my videos. I have over how many thousand viewers, how many thousand watching, but nobody is subscribing. Please try and watch my videos. Try and share. Try and like and subscribe and comment. Thank you for watching. See you on my next video. I am going to be telling you what men are supposed to take for those men that have oligospermia, azospermia, low sperm count, non-motility sperm count. Those that are, yeah, sperm are many, but it's not multi. It's not active. 
is not active, I mean. So I am going to be talking about in my next video. So make sure you do not forget to turn on that notification bell. Like and subscribe. Bye, guys. Take care. It's your one and only P-Money. Yeah, P-Money.